It was incredibly hot that day in town. Breathing was difficult for many people because the air was very stuffy. Fortunately, yesterday, the big holidays began, and everybody was able to do so, went to the country or to the beach. So did Mrs. McDonald. Where are you? She called impatiently. Laureen, Lionel, Lucy, come on. If we don't leave now, we will get stuck in the worst traffic jam ever. We're coming, Mrs. McDonald, they shouted out of the house. Just a minute. Come on, Lucy. We always have to wait for you, Laureen said, who was Lucy's mother. I can't find my damned hairbrush. Don't say damned, Laureen moaned. Who have you learned these expressions from? From Mrs. McDonald, Lionel Lucy's brother grinned. She says it often when she thinks she's alone. Don't say such nonsense, Laureen said strictly. She has never spoken one of those words in her life. <laughs> Lucy and Lionel giggled because they knew better. If you don't come now, I will go to Acapulco alone, they heard Mrs. McDonald calling. <laughs> well, Laureen sighed, but don't you think that you're getting out of being brushed? We are going to buy a new brush on the way. Lionel and Lucy rushed out, but Laureen stopped them. Lucy, Lionel, you must walk slowly and demurely. You aren't street cats. You are beautiful and well-educated domestic cats. Unfortunately, Lucy and Lionel laughed. Here you are at last. Everybody get in, Mrs. McDonald called. Oh, I'm so happy to get out of this stuffy and noisy town. After Lucy, Lionel, and Laureen had made themselves comfortable in the car, Mrs. McDonald raced off and was in a better mood. Good time, the birds twittered. We will have a lot of fun in Acapulco, Lucy shouted gladly to them. Bye-bye, Mrs. McDonald, Rosa called. Bye-bye, Mrs. McDonald called back. Relax well, the hedgehog waved. Lucy and Lionel were glad because Mrs. McDonald had a convertible, so they didn't notice the great heat too much, and the trip was very pleasant. By the evening, Mrs. McDonald and her cats reached Acapulco. They had rented a house for the holidays there. As they were getting out of the car, Lucy tried to run away. I'm going to have a look around. I'll be back shortly, she said. No, Lucy, you have to stay here, Laureen ordered. First, we have to unpack. Lionel, you go help your sister. Lucy and Lionel shrugged their shoulders and went back to the car. Lucy has this thirst for adventure like her father, Loreen said worriedly to Mrs. McDonald. He was a real vagabond, but very charming, she added, sighing. Yes, yes, men. Mrs. McDonald smiled, and the two giggled like schoolgirls as they went into the house. After dinner, Mrs. McDonald and her cats realized that the journey had been very strenuous. Everybody was tired, and they all wanted to sleep as soon as possible. Good night, my beloved cats. Sleep well, Mrs. McDonald said. Good night, Mrs. McDonald, Laureen, Lucy, and Lionel answered and fell asleep immediately. The next morning, when Lucy and Lionel awoke, Laureen and Mrs. McDonald had already prepared breakfast. Slurping, they drank their milk hungrily. Lucy, Laureen said strictly to her daughter, listen to me. This morning, the milkman told me a cat catcher roams around in this area. He likes to catch beautiful and cared for cats like you. Don't cause any troubles, dear Lucy, and stay nearby. This is proper behavior for a respectable domestic cat, Mrs. McDonald added. But that's really boring, Lucy complained. 
Poor Lucy, Lionel said compassionately. He himself didn't mind just laying around in the sun, loafing and reading. Hmm, that's a fun idea, isn't it? She thought as she disappeared sulkily into the corner. In the shadow, Mrs. McDonald and Loreen had made themselves comfortable and soon they fell asleep. When Lucy heard the two snoring, she carefully snuck up to Lionel. Hi, Lionel, she whispered very quietly. I'll go out for just an hour. Lionel looked shocked. And the cat catcher? Lucy, that might be dangerous. Don't worry, she said. I can take care of myself. I'm just going around the corner. Okay, Lucy, but you have to be back before Mama and Mrs. McDonald wake up. Otherwise, we'll be in big trouble. You can trust me, little brother, Lucy whispered lovingly and ran away. Lucy was shocked. It's five o'clock already. She ran back to the cottage as fast as she could. Where were you for such a long time? Lionel asked her. <laughs> Mom has blinked and she'll wake up soon. Out of breath, Lucy rolled up, closed her eyes, and pretended to sleep. It was about time for Lorene to wake up. And Mrs. McDonald was rubbing her eyes also. After a short, suspicious look at Lucy, Laureen blinked to Mrs. McDonald, satisfied. Well, you see, at last, Lucy is becoming a good little cat girl. Mrs. McDonald was very happy. Oh, dear, Lionel thought, if they only knew. Quickly, he ran into the house so nobody could see him blushing. Next day was spent much as the one before. As soon as Mrs. McDonald and Laureen had their afternoon nap, Lucy had another investigation tour. Please come back earlier this time, Lionel called after her, but Lucy had already disappeared. She was walking along the street cheerfully. Suddenly, she saw a little mouse which was dancing in front of her teasingly. Hold on, I'm gonna catch you, Lucy called. But the mouse disappeared like lightning. Just try to catch me. It giggled and looked around the corner in a cheeky way. I'll get you, Lucy called and started for a jump and... Ha ha ha, Lucy heard a deep mopping voice. What a nice cat we have here. That's what I'd call a successful cat. You may hiss as much as you want. You won't get away from me, the cat catcher laughed. Well done, Judy, he said to the mouse. At home is a nice piece of cheese waiting for you. That's your reward. Meanwhile, Lionel was waiting for his sister's return impatiently, full of unrest. He was running to and fro. Lionel, Lucy, where are you? Oh, dear, that's the end, Lionel thought. Here, here, here I am. And where's Lucy, Laureen asked. Mm, I, I don't, don't know. She was just here, Lionel was stuttering. What's the matter, Laureen? Why are you looking so angry? Lucy has run away, Laureen said angrily. Tonight she will go to bed without a meal. Don't be so strict, Mom, Lionel said. Certain cats need more freedom than others. But this is not acceptable. I forbade Lucy to go away, and she has to learn. Loreen was hissing and went back into the house full of anger. Your mother is right, Lionel. You are not just anybody. You're well-educated and intelligent domestic cats. Oh, Lucy, Lionel sighed. You make things so difficult. There you are, my dear cat. I hope you will feel happy in my palace, the cat catcher said to Lucy as he turned around and stamped away. Then Lucy heard the door bang loudly.